Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be answering Scott's question on how to design a keyhole slot with undercut for wall hanging. So he wants to basically make a design where you can hang something on the wall and make it nice and flush. So, all right, so I'm just going to make just a couple of basically a, a hook or something uh, fairly straightforward so, uh, so that we can demonstrate this. Alright, so this is a pretty basic hook, and what I'm going to do is make this part here on the back, right? So what I want to do now is just insert uh, some type of McMaster car, uh, I guess bolt, or not bolt, I guess a screw. Okay, so now I have the screw inserted, and if you look at the diameter, it's about 9.5 millimeters. So we're going to just create this using slots. So if you come back here, we're going to create a slot and then we're just going to use center to center slot. And this first slot needs to be at least the diameter of the screw. So I'm just going to go ahead and go 10 millimeters since the screw head is 9.5. So that should be wide enough uh, to, to fit this. And then the second slot, which I'll go ahead and create real quick, center to center slot. And then this one uh, needs to be smaller. So this needs to be basically the diameter of the the shaft of the screw. So I'm just going to guess and say like three millimeters, but now we can go look at this. And you can measure this uh, without, you know, importing it like I mentioned earlier. So I'm just going to say finish sketch on that other one and create a sketch here just so we can kind of measure this. So let's see. It's a about five millimeters roughly so I would just measure whatever shaft uh, screw you have so that's that's five millimeters and so we need to update this other one uh, to be five millimeters so finish that and that was just our demo to make this five okay and so now we need to position this where we want it and you know probably need to put two on this but just for the sake of this I'm just gonna make one here and then we can uh, kind of modify things if we need to and then I'm gonna use midpoint so make this the midpoint there and then make sure that this is horizontal vertical I think it already is and then basically just dimension it just to fully constrain everything and then the width here uh, is kind of up to up to you as far as what you want to make it uh let's see just make sure that it's wide enough to to slot all the way in i think 10 i'd probably go a little bit more than more than the width of the the head so let's do like 15 all right and then i actually would add a circle here so this is going to be where you actually insert the head of the screw into and then we're going to slot it up so when you look at it that way i think 10 would probably be okay so now we have basically what we need to create this so we're going to basically figure out how far uh we how much how much headroom we need for this to fit and you can go a little bit higher than this if you need to just because uh you can always just tighten this down so it's about four millimeters so we need to create at least four millimeters of I guess cavity if you want to think of it that way okay and once we have that sketch now we're ready to extrude everything so we're going to click e for extrude and then we're going to select these parts to to kind of make the keyhole and we're going to go negative six and the reason i'm doing that is we're going to have four millimeters for the head of the bolt and then we're going to have two millimeters for the wall uh, which is going to be this part so just go ahead and do negative six and you can do different uh, amounts based on the, the size screw you have so click ok and so now we have that cut out bring that sketch back up and then we're going to extrude again but now we're just going to select the part that we didn't select last time and then we're going to select uh, start from and it's going to be offset and we're going to offset it by negative two because we're going to basically leave the wall there and then we're going to select uh, extent it's going to be two object and then we want to select that uh, basically the bottom of the cavity so if we click there you should see how it's leaving it's going to leave the wall there and then it's going to cut the bottom out and so now if you look at it you can see there that we have our cavity and so i think i can probably join this let's click j for joint and then let's put that there and then i think we're gonna have to come up okay so we're there all right so it should be about right right there so 
it's not animated, but you should be able to kind of understand it goes in and slot up, right? So if we do inspect section analysis, and we can always go back and change this if we need to. So let's turn on the origin there, and then let's go there. Okay, and so now you can see how that would work, right? So you have this little uh, kind of wall there to hold the, the screw where you need it, and then you have the part, the, kind of the keyhole, to slot it in. So again, you can adjust this, but it's fairly straightforward. You just need to know the diameter of the shaft of the screw and the diameter of the head of the screw, and then the height of the screw are really the main important pieces of that. And then one last thing that I'll leave you with is you can also just create... Uh, a new body. So I'm just going to make a new component, click OK, and then I'm just going to make uh, this part here. It's basically going to be the same thing, except for I'm going to see if I can do it like this. It's going to be like a negative that, of what we just made. So what we did was we made this be 10 millimeters. I think this was 12, and then I think this part was 5, okay, and then uh, I'm just going to leave it there, and then we, oh yeah, then we added that circle at the end, so like that, okay, and so this was uh, 6, and then this part was 4. Okay, and so now we have basically this little cutout, uh, or basically a, a piece that we can use to cut things out. So I'm going to hide this analysis and then just open this up again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this to where I want to put another keyhole. So I'm just going to say here, and I'm going to flip it. Click here, it'll flip. And then let's go down, I don't know, 30 millimeters, click OK. And so now we're going to do combine, and we're going to select that body that we just had, which is there. We can do combine. And so our target body is going to be the big hook, and then our tool body is going to be that piece we just made. And then we're going to cut that out, and then we're going to click OK. And so now you can see we have that same thing. And uh, that's pretty useful, you know, if you want to do a pattern of these somewhere or if you want to reuse it over and over, you can make it as a separate component and then just cut those out, you know, over and over again. I think it's maybe a slightly different size, uh, but you can go back and edit that here. I think it might be 10. And then it should update over here. So yeah, now they look pretty similar. So that is how you would do kind of a, a repetitive process. And then also when you click combine here, you can click keep tools and then you can reuse it again in the future. But if I was doing this a lot, I would make this as a separate component, like all together, and then just insert that component uh, to, to make the hole with. So once you find one you, you kind of like and it works good, I would recommend doing this and using it as a negative, like I just showed you to basically uh, reuse and, and make holes that are kind of consistent throughout your design. So hope that helps and thanks for watching.